It is March of 2020. Coronavirus is all anyone is talking about, other than the people that are making plans to deal with the economic crisis that comes afterwards. The hospitality industry is one of the first and likely to be hardest hit. I am here with hospitality industry leaders who are trying to plan for tomorrow and the days ahead. We are now sitting in the Fin and Brew restaurant. As you can see, it's completely empty. I have six other locations in Peekskill that are all empty. So we started with an idea that Eric Korn came to us with about helping the people in the hospitality business who are now unemployed, and a lot of them can't even start collecting unemployment for several weeks. So there is a need to feed the people in our community, in the restaurant community, the hotel community, and all the other communities that serve the restaurants in this nation. A lot of our friends and employees and people that we've grown up in this industry with are losing jobs, losing restaurants, closing restaurants this week, and it's a really scary thing. We're looking down the line and there's gonna be a need for food for these people who live week to week, paycheck to paycheck, and don't have any money coming in, don't have any prospects for work, and are gonna need some help. So we're cooking some soup to make sure that they have something to eat. We're cooking soup here. Soup is communal. A giant pot of soup feeds plenty. And here we're trying to feed families, to feed the people in our industry that need it the most who don't have jobs right now and they're scrambling for anything they can. We're making soup because when someone's sick, that's what you do, you cook soup for them. Soup can be boiled, so it's safe. We can boil it when we're cooking it, and then again when it's served, it can be boiled. It can be frozen and packaged easily and transported easily. In the last couple days, New York City alone had to lay up a half million hospitality workers. This is a serious thing. We have to take care of our brothers and sisters in this field because they're gonna need help very soon. We need chefs to start cooking. We need soup to be made. We need corporations to be donating quart containers and product for us to be cooking. We need money from these corporations and from individuals who can to help our industry. These people, these restaurants, they need help. We need this coming in fast. This is an emergency situation and we need to start cooking so we could get food out to the people who need it soon. A million gallons of soup is a crazy goal. This is a crazy idea, but these are crazy times and we need to do something together, all of us, to make it work. It's going to be a true effort, but I think we can do it as a team, as a country. If we all get together and keep people well fed, we'll be successful and back up in business in no time, serving the public like we know how to do best. You're asking everyone to band together and start cooking. We need to cook a million gallons of soup starting now. We are watching a public health crisis quickly turn into an economic crisis, the scale of which we have never seen in our lifetimes. I am imploring all of you who see this and who hear this, join us, help us make a difference. If you are a chef, help us cook. If you are a corporation decision maker, make donations, give us product, give us quart containers, give us money. If you are an individual and you can do so, make a donation. The food service industry needs your help. These people need your help.